And on a very different note, what if you bought a work of art by one of your favorite artists for a hefty sum of cash, only to find out years later that it's actually a fake and almost entirely worthless? A new exhibit right here in Israel takes a look at that question, as well as one of the most infamous forgers of the 20th century. Maya Margit went to take a look. He fooled the world and became a folk hero. Dutch artist Han van Meeheren is the 20th century's most notorious forger. In the 1930s and 1940s, he created paintings in the style of Vermeer and passed them off as originals. Now an exhibition at the Tel Aviv Museum is looking at the whole spectrum that exists between what's real and what's fake. I would say Van Meeheren was awful as an artist, mediocre at best. But as a forger, he was one of the best of his kind because he had the goal to create a period that never existed in Vermeer's career, his early period. Indeed, Van Meeheren's forgeries were different from the famous 17th century Dutch artist's real paintings. The forger painted in his own style while adding visual references to Vermeer and selling the product for millions of dollars. At the time, major museums and experts flocked to these newly discovered masterpieces. Van Meeheren never made any mistakes. He always used real pigments, the same ones used in 17th century. And he also brought old 17th century paintings at the flea market, which he painted his forgeries over. So how was he caught? In May 1945, right after the end of World War II, and the liberation of Holland, the Allied forces stumbled upon top Nazi leader Hermann Goering's art collection. Goering had stolen thousands of priceless artworks all across Europe, hoarding them in storerooms for his own personal collection. Goering's ill-gotten loot is no longer his to admire. The collection goes on display for GIs before an Allied commission attempts to return everything to the proper owners. Among the artworks they uncovered, this, Van Meeheren's woman taken in adultery, hailed as one of the best Vermeers ever painted. The painting came under investigation, and authorities soon found out Van Meeheren was involved. But they didn't think he was a forger. Instead, he was accused of treason. They accused him of treason and of setting national treasures to the enemy. He could have been sentenced to death, especially with the prevailing atmosphere in Holland at the time. After being under investigation for two weeks, he surprised his interrogators and declared, Gentlemen, I'm not a traitor. In fact, I'm a hero. I only sold the Nazis fakes. After proving he was behind other well-known fakes, Van Meeheren was sentenced to one year in prison. He was no longer a traitor. Instead, he was the man who had swindled Goering. He became a cultural icon in Holland because the masses really enjoyed reading about his case in the newspaper. Who wouldn't like a story about a small-town painter fooling art snobs? Who think they know everything. He mocked them and proved they know nothing. But Van Meeheren would never spend a day in jail. Just hours before he was due to serve out his sentence, he had a heart attack and died, escaping justice to the end.